Hi everyone, it's Angela with Create Your Future. I am a certified Law of Assumption coach and today I am going to talk about creating a new love with your current SP. This is um, a really popular topic. A lot of people ask questions and are very interested in it. So I'm going to talk about that today and I'm really excited because it's a lot of fun. Before we start, I do want to remind you that we are having a giveaway. We're going to have some free coaching sessions when we get to um, 100,000 subscribers. And you can get enrolled or signed up for the drawing by looking in our description box. It has all the details on how to do that. And then also we do have a mailing list now. So if you want to get on that, you're going to get notified um, when we have any sales. Our coaches have new courses and new bundles and things like that. You'll be the first to find out about it. And also I have a course out called Awaken to I Am. It is foundational. It kind of sets the basis for manifesting and stepping into your power and really waking up to the power that's within you. And so it's what I share with clients because um, I'm really big on your foundational piece. I think it's the most important thing. It's going to affect all of your manifesting. So this course is supposed to help you step into that role. And there are also some affirmations in the uh, recording and you can use those to kind of help change your mindset and reprogram your subconscious beliefs. So if you're interested in my course, check that out in our description box too. Okay, guys, let's jump into our topic. Um, so you can have a new experience <clears throat> with anybody that you want in your life. And really, so I, I just want to tell you, you probably realize this. It's not that we're really changing a person. We are just changing our perception of someone. And as we begin to create a new story with our thoughts, we begin to um, see people differently. And we're shifting into a reality where we're having a new experience with that person. Because remember, there are infinite versions of people. There are infinite versions of you. Like we can experience whatever version that we can come up with in our thoughts. We have that potential to shift into that reality and have that experience with that person. So we're not technically changing a person. We are changing our perception. And this also applies to like anyone, a specific person, you know, can of course be a romantic partner. And that's kind of where I'm going to go with this particular video, but you can change your perception of anybody in your life um, with a family member or a boss or a friend or, you know, anybody that you want to see them differently and have a, a different dynamic with them. You can change that. So just this process, you know, applies to anything, anybody. Um, so but let's get back to talking about, um, I guess, a romantic partner, because you can have a new love, a brand new relationship, a brand new experience with, you know, your specific person. A lot of us have had, um, you know, maybe a, a history or a difficult time in our relationship, but yet we still really care about that person. We don't want a different person. We want a different relationship with that person. And it's doable. You can have it. You can have that experience. So what I start with when I'm talking with clients is I always want to really help you build a good foundation and remind yourself, everyone is you pushed out. You're creating it all. You're creating every experience and you can create it to be anything that you want. So ground yourself in that knowledge by reminding yourself, you know, I am the opera power. It's all me. It's flowing through me. My perceptions are creating all my experiences, all of my relationships, all of the dynamics, everything that's going on in the relationship. It's flowing through me. I can control it because I can control my thoughts and I can create new experiences with my thoughts. So establish that foundation, remind yourself, remind yourself daily that that's who you are. 
and you are creating everything. I always remind myself, I always try to um, stay grounded in that power. And it's something you should always remind yourself all the time daily. So set that foundation, remind yourself of who you are and that you're creating everything. So the next thing that you want to talk about, you know, within, with your thoughts is decide on who you want to be in the relationship. Um, begin to see yourself in a new way. So if you've maybe been a people pleaser, trying to placate the partner or babysit the relationship, um, trying to do everything to keep someone else happy, now maybe you really need to flip that and say, you know what, I'm the one that is, um, you know, my partner is going to keep happy. My partner is going to focus on keeping me because I'm the pedestal. I'm the one that um, gets the respect. I am the one is, that is pursued. Um, I am the person that my specific person is um, really coming towards. They're moving towards me. I'm the magnetic one. Just create whatever version of yourself that you want to be <clears throat> and focus in on that. And really make yourself the priority always. You know, when when you're thinking about what you want to have and the experience with your specific person, come from that perspective of you are the most valuable person. You are so irreplaceable and they would do absolutely anything to make this relationship work, to make this relationship healthy, to make this relationship um, vibrant and fulfilling and, you know, to have you in their life forever. So focus on yourself and really get very clear on who you want to be and how you want to be treated and all of those things in the relationship. That's, um, that's priority, you and how you're going to be treated. So, so get that really firmly established, um, get clear on that. And then the next thing is you want to be really clear on how you want your specific person to be coming in, in the relationship. What version of them do you want to see? And so you can kind of figure that out by looking at the things that you don't like. Um, you know, just be real honest. You might sit down and say, you know, they're immature. Um, they don't prioritize me. Um, they're not um, putting me first, whatever. Look at those things that, things that you don't like. And then from there, that helps you now create what you do want. If they're immature, you want them to show up, you know, being more mature and more adult. Um, if they don't prioritize you, they're going to come in now and make you the number one priority because you're irreplaceable and magnetic and everything that they could ever want. Um, whatever it is that's negative that you're seeing from them, you need to create that new version now by recognizing the negative and then focusing in on the opposite of that. And sometimes we also need to kind of work in some forgiveness there. It's not for them so much, but it's for you. It's letting go of maybe those things that they have done that have been hurtful. So, you know, instead of saying, you know, oh, they, he's such a jerk and he did this and he did that, or she did this and she did that, kind of forgive, you've got to forgive that and let that go so you can allow yourself to see them in a better light. So you can allow yourself to see them actually now being that person that's going to be different for you. So, you know, if there's something that you maybe need to get over and forgive, be honest with yourself and kind of examine some of those feelings that you might have, because that could be creating a block if you need to forgive them. It doesn't mean we're just, um, going to allow somebody to treat us bad, but, you know, forgive hurts and things that are in the past to help you now move forward and have the ability to see them differently and see them in a different light. <clears throat> so you're going to work on your foundational beliefs 
and recognize the power within you and your ability to create any experience that you want. You're going to get very clear and set some intentions about who you're going to be in the relationship, how you want to be treated. Then you're going to do the same thing for your, your partner, your specific person. And I recommend that you really focus in on your intentions um, at least twice a day. Like I say, in the morning, start your day with that. Start fresh with these really positive affirmations and let that kind of set the standard of how your day is going to go. And then let these things be the very last thing in your mind before you go to sleep because your subconscious is going to play it over and over all night long. And then during the day, whenever your person comes into your life, try to keep your thoughts going in a positive way. If a negative thought comes in, just, just be aware of it and, and remind yourself, but I'm, I'm seeing them this way now. I'm seeing this new version now. I want to experience this new relationship, this new um, loving relationship. And so I'm, I'm viewing them this way. Be intentional and redirect your thinking and try to maintain a state where you're more positive and expectant of this new experience with them. And when you really begin to um, be consistent, your subconscious is going to begin to really accept that story. It's going to feel natural. It's going to feel normal. And your brain is going to want to now look out here in the 3D and validate that for you. It's going to begin to show up for you and you're going to have that experience. We can totally do this. It, it's all within though. This is where it starts. It has to happen internally first. And sometimes we kind of have to overlook some things in the interim as it's beginning to, you know, work its way to this new direction. You overlook some of those things and, and go within. Um, try to avoid those triggers by reminding yourself of the new story within. But it will push out. There's just the 3D has no exception or no, no other option than to align with your new story. It will show up for you when you stay consistent with it. So I hope that um, motivates you to really get on the ball with your thoughts, get clear on what you want and know that you can have it. You can have a brand new love, a brand new relationship with your current specific person, regardless of what has gone on in the past. You can have any new experience with them. So if you would like help with coaching or like someone to help you with that, sign up for some coaching with me. I love to help people with these things and create your intentions and help you get that groundwork in place so you can really be a powerful master manifester. So book some coaching with me and that also is in our description box below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.